have another Bible story for you, and it is from the Beginner's Bible. And I'm going to continue on in the book of Daniel. I'm going to hear about Daniel today. And it's called Spending the Night with Lions. God blessed Daniel. He made Daniel very wise, and the king planned to make Daniel ruler of all the land. Now, some other wise men were jealous. They tried to find something bad about Daniel, but Daniel was a good man. Daniel always prayed to God. Daniel always obeyed God. The men could find nothing bad about Daniel, so they made a plan. They went to the king. Let's make a new law, they said. Let's say that everyone has to pray to you. If they don't, we will throw them into the lion's den. That sounded good to the king, and he made a new law. Daniel heard about the new law, but he went to his room and prayed anyway. Now the men knew Daniel would pray, and they saw him and took him to the king. Let's throw Daniel into the lion's den, they said. The king was sorry. He liked Daniel, but he could not change the law. The men's plan had worked. They threw Daniel into the lion's den. The next morning, the king got up early and ran to the lion's den. Daniel, did God save you? He called. Yes, king. My God saved me. He sent an angel to close the mouths of the lions. The king was happy, and he took Daniel out. God had saved him. Now what can we learn from this story about Daniel's faithfulness to God? His, he was not willing to pray to anything else but his one true God? Was God strong enough to take care of Daniel? What do you think? Yes, he was. Was God strong enough to close the mouths of the lions? Yes, he was. Is God strong enough to take care of you? Absolutely. God loves you and wants to take care of you. He wants to be right there with you through all of the things you're going through right now, all of the blessings of family, all of the wonderful things that you can look forward to. He wants to be with you and he is with you. Let's pray to God right now. Dear Heavenly Father, we are so thankful that you are with us always. Thank you for sending Jesus, your one true son, that he could save us from our sins and live with us forever. Lord, thank you for always watching over us, and taking care of us and our families. And we ask that you do that right now. Please take care of our families and our loved ones. And Lord, please bless us. We love you, amen. We'll see you next time, friends. Bye-bye.